I'm not mad. Hell no. It's my fault. It is my freaking fault that you guys chose not to die. And now you're dead. How does it feel to be the pimple on the ass of society? How does it feel? Ah! Huh? I wanna know! I'm a monster now, okay. So anyways, now we're gonna head back to the Gerudo Desert. That way we can actually warp the bridge back to where it needs to be. Hey guys! Welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last part, I screwed up big time, but now I've corrected my mistake by going all the way over there, and I had to walk all the way over there, my god. And guess what? Now we're gonna go all the way back over there to the Bridge of Elden yet again! It's like an endless cycle of pain and suffering. Although, it's kind of worth it to see Midna lift up this giant freaking boulder of... stone. Do not piss off this chick, she will kick your ass! Okay, so we got the Bridge of Elden back. Now we can cross over here anytime we want. So that actually makes this a lot easier because there will be a couple of times where it will just be so much easier to actually go over here instead of just like making a giant loop around Hyrule to make it over here. Anyways, we're not going to head directly back to the Gerudo Desert because there is something we do need to get over here. And uh, I know, it's like, oh my god, dude, we just made it, why would you make us go back? Oh, oh my god, I'm such a weenie, my... Okay. So there is a pad over here, I think, that we can grab onto. Yes, there is. So we're gonna walk over here and just follow the lifted trail, as we would call it. Because it is lifted, and it is a trail. No crap. There's the bug right there, but we already got that bug, so it's kind of pointless for us to go ahead and get it again, don't you think? Anyway, now uh, we've gone through there, there is a secret portion right here. Look, this room is filled with magma. It's the whole Goron mine thing again, huh? Don't you just love the Goron mines? I like this little throwback to it. It's like, oh, don't forget that you've been here. Okay, so they got fire keys right there. Let's go ahead and uh, shoot them that way they don't bother us, maybe. Possibly. Yeah, screw it, they're not gonna bother us. Oh, as soon as I say that, you become within hitting range, you little... You little twit! You half wit! What?! I had the iron boots on! What?! Uh, what the frick?! I had the iron boots on, that's stupid. Game, why would you do that? Why you do that, game? Why you lie to me? Okay, now you will listen. You will listen like Navi. Okay. Uh, there's a fire key. Keys. A keys. I want keys, thank you. It sounds like quiche. Every time I say key, I, I think of quiche. I don't know why. I don't really... I'm okay with quiche. I'm, it's not, I'm not a big fan of it, really. <laughs> I like... Did Link actually spin the arrow? That'd be kind of, that was kind of cool if he did. Because I, I had the arrows out when I heard like the little swishing sound, which is like uh, him putting away his sword, but I don't know if it was an arrow or something. It might have been a sword. I don't know. Might have been the fact that I, it doesn't really matter. There was a wooden block inside this thing. What the hell? <laughs> okay, either that or the pipe is made out of wood. I don't really know. You're dead, that's all I know. Okay, so we have to make another leap of faith and hopefully not die like last time. Yay, for not dying. It's the best kind of not death out there. Okay, is there anything out here? No, okay. I just wanted to make sure, check all my bearings, make sure I'm right. Because sometimes I'm wrong, and sometimes the Link has to pay the price for it. Uh, there is nothing down here. Why is there nothing down there? I don't like that. Okay, maybe there was something over... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. There was a hole in this thing. Maybe there's something I'm supposed to... 
Okay, I don't see it. I'm not seeing it. I'm not liking this. I'm not liking that I'm not knowing where I'm supposed to be going. The stuff and the things. Am I supposed to go? Yeah, I'm supposed to go this way. Okay. And you are dead, sir. Why am I talking like this? I don't know. I've been talking like this in the past few episodes. I, I, I'm getting tired of it, to be honest with you. I'm getting... Bleh. Okay. So, we're gonna... Let's see. We got some rupees. There's nothing down here, is there? Is there something I could... Oh, okay. I, I didn't see this when I first came over here. I was like, what the frig, man? What the frig? What the frig? Okay. So, there's two uh, torches right here, so that automatically means I have to light them up! No, that means you have to kick them down and hope for the best. It's like a lever. <laughs> Indiana Jones style, baby. No. Okay. So, we're gonna open this chest and get our prize! 100 rupees! This is not the prize that we we're supposed to get. This, right here, is the prize that we we're supposed to get. It's more obvious, and it is a pizza heart. Yai. Yai! Yogi! Boo -boo. Something! Mr. Ranger Person! In a picnic basket! Yeah, I didn't really say that in a good Yogi voice. Yeah, boo boo! I don't even watch Yogi Bear. What the hell's wrong with me? What is wrong with me? What are two wrongs with me? And once you get out of that place, it will actually bring you to this strange upper yard like area. In which you can uh, get back over to the bridge of Elden right over there. Um, if you remember in Super Smash Bros. Brawl, the bridge of Elden was actually one of the stages in that place. And the middle platform would actually disappear and reappear uh, due to King Bubblin actually blowing it up. Although King Bubblin, you only fought on this bridge once and he didn't even use any explosives, which is kind of odd to why they actually put him blowing up the bridge in that fashion. Because he didn't actually blow up the bridge, so I don't know. So we're anyways, enough of my... Tom Foolery. I guess they were just trying to make up their own storyline behind the Bridge of Elden. I'm not going to fight it. We're going to head back to the Gerudo Desert because that's where we need to go. Now, since we got rid of the Bridge of Elden, or its remained part that was actually spliced off, what you can actually do when you get over here is there's a postal over here for one. This isn't really the major thing I wanted to point out, no. But um, there's actually a hidden stairway down here. It actually leads to something that you're going to do right after we pretty much gotten everything in the game. And there's a puzzle. Yay! Okay. This right here is the pit of... Tr uh, bleh, pit of ordeals. Something... Bleh, something of ordeals. I forget. But yes, uh, it is 50 floors long. There are enemies on every floor. And every time you defeat 10 enemies, you will get a reward. I will not uh, say any more than that because we will be doing that. And I do not want to spoil it. Okay, I won't be speeding it up or anything. I'm gonna show everything. I'm gonna show my strategies and everything. Even though I'm not really a strategist, but whatever. Anyways, we've pretty much gotten everything that we needed to get outside of the Gerudo Desert. So now we're gonna head into the main territory where the actual Gerudos are hanging out and uh, plotting their vengeance and what have you. So let's go ahead and turn back to a human that we can use our uh, weaponry. I like that word weaponry. Our weaponry. Sound like a tactician. I believe there is a Geruda up there watching us. Maybe. No? Wow, they just got poles up there, standing up there. Watchtowers up there for no reason whatsoever. That's amazing. So, you can see right over here, they're actually ha they actually have a campfire going, and they're pretty much guarding it pretty well. There's a Geruda up there. So, we're going to shoot him. Yeah. We're going to shoot you before you see us, pal. Okay. Have they noticed where I am? Yes, they have. So if we actually take out the guy on top of it, the boars are pretty much going to be useless. The boars are equivalent to a horse, however, they are very hard to steer, and we will actually be able to get the chance to ride it. It is uh, actually required. If you take out the guys that are actually riding on the boars, the boars become useless, though, so you don't have to worry about them. We're just going to snipe them, and hopefully we'll get them. Oh, I shot the boar. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, boar. You're innocent. The man that's controlling you is uh, the bad guy. It's kind of like Pokemon they were saying in that one episode. Uh, what kind of fire you got going here? Wow, they got bones in a fire. Ugh. Those can't even burn, man. The bones can't burn. Or can they? Yeah, they can. I think. I don't know. I've never been to one of those 
some type of funerals. Anyways, what we're supposed to do is ride onto this boar, and if you press A, he'll start charging maniacally. And what you have to do is use that to your advantage. Actually get through this area right here. That we can uh, invade their personal base. Not their personal, not their personal space, their personal base. So in this corner right here, I do believe that there's actually a uh, postal over here. So. <coughs> well, there should have been anyway. But, hey, whatever. You know, I'm not going to fight it. I mean, I'm not even looking for the postals. You can pretty much, if you just go on your adventure as you normally would, you will find the 20 postals. I mean, they're hidden... Not, they're not hidden all that well. I mean, if you just want 20 post souls, you don't even have to go out and look for them. They, you will find them on your adventure. You just gotta go out and if you see it, you grab it, you know? So, um, the thing about this place is it is very treacherous and it is kind of hard to explore a little bit. Let me put on some good items here. Uh, I get some okay items. Let's put the bombs out. Yeah, okay. So... You want to be very careful when you're going out in this place, because if they see you, they will come out in a horde. If the Drudos see you, they will come out in... Oh. Well, might as well do this as well. Basically, you put your sword away, Z-target him, and then when he goes to attack you, you want to actually draw your sword out. And if I can time this right, I will actually do it for you people. No, you're supp- I am Z-targeting you, sir. Don't lie to me. Okay, go to attack me, and then... Okay, why won't the command come out? Oh. That's because- You said to Z-target you, and then you lied, you dummy! The mortal draw. Sheath the blade, await your foe without Z targeting, and strike. Okay, so why would you include in the information that you don't need the Z target? That just confused me. That was why would you even put that in there? Why don't you just say press A when your shield when your sword is unsheathed? That is stupid. You don't even need to include the information about the Z targeting. I mean that's irrelevant, and yet you Ugh, whatever. 
Anyways, we got another postal here. We might as well take it out because I see it. It is here. There are bugs guarding you. I don't know why. Are these bugs gu bug guarding? Bugs guarding you. <laughs> uh, I just got that. Bugs guarding. Eh, whatever. And another postal. I love it when I'm sitting in my balls. Um, we don't really need to fight you guys because uh, we got everything we needed. The carts. Redemption. Redemption, sir. Redemption. Please stop doing that. Gotta stop saying sir. I don't like calling any of these people sir. They're not sirs. They're they're me. Nasty people. Okay. So we're gonna go over here and then the sea transition. Sea transition. Okay, so this is where you're going to want to be on stealth mode right here. I recommend you actually put on the Hawkeye for once. Yes, this is probably the only time where I actually recommend that because, well, you got these things from pretty far away, and if you actually hit them... Yeah. Pretty nice to have the Hawkeye here, huh? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, there should be another one, if I remember correctly. Zoom out a little bit, that way you can get a bearing of where I'm aiming. There's a light over there. There's a light. It's a night light. Apparently, these guys are afraid of the dark. Wait, is there? Are those over there? No, those are barrels. Is that a TNT barrel? No, I guess not. Well, I don't really see any more enemies, so I guess I'll just uh, unequip that for now. I just feel so ominous right here. I feel like something's just gonna jump out and attack me. I mean, there's no music in the background. It's just got this eerie feeling to it, man. It's really freaking me out. Okay, so I think I see something over there. Hmm. You do want to be careful in this area, because they will come out in hordes if one sees you from a watchtower, and it will attack you. As I keep saying over and over again, but I just want to make that clear, okay? You want to be on your best guard. If the music starts playing, oh my god. We're gonna go in here very ginger like. Okay, we got rid of that one. Trust me, it seems like it's endless when they start coming out at you. I'm trying to scare you people. Yeah, there's one. Is there another one up there? Oh. Well, how about that? Okay, let's go over here. Is there something over here? No. Oh. I feel like telling a ghost story or something. I don't know. This environment just makes me feel on the edge, man. This environment is just... I just love the atmosphere here. It's really got this nice touch to it. I mean, I don't feel this for much games, but right now I'm just feeling like, oh my god, I'm going to get assassinated any minute. Any minute. Like, in most shooter games, I get really freaked out because I know something's just going to jump out of me out of nowhere, and I, I, just, I just do not like first-person shooter games, but right now I'm feeling... Kinda like, okay, I need to be on my guard really well, otherwise I'm gonna get assassinated. Or something like that. Something along those lines. Wow, he didn't even see me, dummy. You dummy. You dummy. Okay, is there something over here? I got a feeling they let this little alcove right here, that way I can shoot something. Ah, oh, there's one right there, yes, yes. Let's go ahead and shoot you. I miss. I miss. There we go. Right in the heart. Right in your heart, sir. Right in your heart. Okay. I guess I hurt you really badly, then. <laughs> Love hurts! And there's one right there. Wow, he didn't even notice that hitting anything. So yes, these are where the Gerudos are actually hiding out. And they will come out and attack you. They basically made this their camp. Pretty much why they named it the Gerudo Desert, because they're Gerudos and they... Like the name stuff after themselves. I'm doing pretty good. Sometimes I actually just mess up on purpose that way you can get them all out at once. But right now I'm just feeling like a super spy right now. So yeah. I don't think there's any more in this area right here. I'm really on edge. Okay. So let's move over here. Apparently there's nothing in this area. Oh look. Backstabber! <laughs> oh, I got a backstabber. Where's my achievement? Achievement unlock. Backstabber. Okay. There's one right there. You're dead. I said you're dead. DEAD! Thank you. May death come quickly to you. I'm not your foe, so there you go. Crap, he saw me! What the heck? How was I supposed to see that? Ah, oh, crap. Now they're gonna come out in hordes. Freaking hordes, man. Freaking hordes. Ah, uh, man, I knew this was gonna happen. 
I was doing so well, dude. I don't think there's that many left, though, because we took taking care of most of them. Hey, shut up. <laughs> you didn't see nothing. Why do I hear a bug all the way out of here? I hear a bug. Oh. Well, this one has a key, so maybe that's what it is. Yeah, you didn't see nothing. <laughs> it fell down in the most degrading way possible. <laughs> Did you see that? He just fell over like, oh, I'm dead. So if you kill this pig that they were cooking up for dinner, you'll actually get a couple of hearts, but that's not the main thing you want. It'll actually give you a pizza heart. So now we have 11 heart containers with us. And we're starting that second row now. Awesome, right? Okay. So I, ta I take it that we've cleared out all the Gerudos around here. Ooh, money, money, money. I got your money. Woo-hoo! I got your money. Woo-hoo! I'm feeling funny. Woo-hoo! You wanna take a bottle of trolls, trolls. You wanna sing about blow. Oh, this is where we put the key in. And there's a boar in there. We will find out in the next episode. Zelda, Twilight Princess. Ah! Okay. <laughs> ah, I bet you I scared the crap out of you. <laughs>